for her great here today. Oh, there we go. Yeah, glad to that. see you. Oh, this that. is my oh, assistant awesome. principal and Kathleen, our instructional coach. We're so glad that you're here today. Oh, yes. Great to see you. All right, we are going to go check out, because it is Teacher Appreciation Week, our amazing teacher's lounge that our lovely PTA has uh, decorated. Came on a great Taco Tuesday day, so we have Nacho <laughs> Average Teacher. I love this. So they spent some time. Um, Look at the, and our PTA put all these our little PTA pieces together. put all together. this together and um, individually wrapped and everything like that to make sure that we are COVID safe. And uh, we just appreciate our partnership so much with our PTA. They have been phenomenal. All right, so I'm gonna take you to the heartbeat of our school, which okay. is the sticky note room. And so who we have in oh. here right now is our student support team. We were talking about our specialists. So we were talking about our dyslexia teacher, ESL teacher, special education teachers, SRP teachers, Quest teachers. So all of our, our specialists uh, that kind of sit in a specific niche of our school. And they are teachers on the ground. They, absolutely. It's, just, it's a different, a different one. They did yeah, not have a general group. education class. They are supporting our students and teachers um, with awesome. whatever need they have. Hey, y'all. Oh. So these are our amazing student, amazing student support team working together. Hi, so, support team. <laughs> this is Ms. Bodie, our school board president. Hi, y'all. Hi. A little bit more than 750 kids enrolled this year, and we have um, only about 150 that are virtual right now. So as we've brought more kids back each nine weeks, we've been able to, you know, help support them through that transition with where are you because learning on zoom is different than learning in the classroom mm -hmm. and so just trying to figure out where they are and then what we can do to help them move forward right. and is every kiddo in the school in this room on a post-it note yes ma'am every student is on a post-it we take that all means all to heart <laughs> yes <laughs> seriously like this is one of the areas where the student support team is pulling um, students out here so we are doing pull out then. Oh, so, so a small group, but then they can pull from different places. So we can do some here. How we do we also... like that? Because I remember oh. last year there was that discussion of push in versus right. pull out. Right. How's well, pull out uh, working for this campus? So it works well. I, like I said, I think it's a continuum. We have some kids that coming out of the classroom with maybe fewer distractions it works for them. But does that work for every single person? Maybe not. Um, and so another great strategy that we are using and hope to use even more next year is co-teaching where you have two um, teachers in the classroom to decrease the student to teacher ratio and you can pull lots of small groups all three of us were inclusion teachers when we were in the classroom and utilize that partnership with special education to um, figure out what like what kids need during that time but that also could be a teacher pulling a group out here or we're teaching a lesson together modeling like the thinking process awesome. and things like that so it all works really well good <laughs> answer good answer so she's got the Look Megatron setup. Yes. And she is also say. all themed out all the time. Uh, we have some visitors, y'all. I told y'all this might happen. Ah. <laughs> Other humans. <laughs> <laughs> They're used to me just kind of being in here in my cave alone. Yeah. You know, all kinds of hijinks that we're doing. Oh, they want me to put my mask back on. <laughs> <laughs> so Miss Corley has created a great environment for yes. students to chat with her all day long. I mean, every time you come in here, the chat is up. Y'all can't see. We have a camera on the gallery view if y'all want to wave. <laughs> <laughs> we're the favorites, obviously. <laughs> Even virtually, we were still able to create that bond. I've already cried thinking about the end of the year, and it's just, it's just been a heck of a year. And I'm just really proud of what we have accomplished despite everything that's been going on. We talk about learning, uh, unfinished learning mm -hmm. due to COVID, right? Mm -hmm. Kids are going to be different places. Some had access, some didn't. Some grew in one area, some didn't. How are you deciding as as a campus, how you want to identify these kiddos and get them met since your, your focus, right, is on each and every student. Right. We have some pre-K and kinder kids uh, that we're going to offer some times for them to come in over the summer and do some assessment to see where they are. Uh, we have a couple of teachers that have wanted to loop with their kids because they've seen that need to want to continue and start right off the bat in August. Um, and then we're working on what we're, we're calling a K-1 collab. And so with our neighborhood space, we're looking at putting a kindergarten teacher and a first grade teacher right next to each other so that they can um, work efficiently together to meet our students' needs. Sure. There's learning at multiple levels, and that's what was amazing about this campus is I see learning going through 
several different levels. I've seen it from our classrooms into our counselors, and I love getting to see the heartbeat of the room. What we got to see was um, the start of, them, of this campus, looking at a different way of how they can meet the needs for each and every student, and they want to keep growing that. And I just applaud this campus, the leadership on here, and meeting our kiddos and our community where they are. The partnerships that are going on, these are the things we talk about in a boardroom, is how can we help support our parents, our teachers, and our students. And um, this campus is rocking it. <laughs> yes, there is actually a camera here. They don't, they're like, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> they're like camera. legit yeah. camera crews, not me with my iPhone and my tripod. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Corley. May the force be with you. Yes. There you go.